a little bit. What are you going to do when you... So, uh, explain the process of catching one. Well, you have to count for about 20 or hear the cooing go, a really light cooing sound, like... And once you hear that cooing, you bang the pot really fast, about six or seven times, and then you move and you swoop the net, net all around, and you have to make sure your shoes are tied in a double knot or not, because they... I'm tired of shooting. You, uh, what age would you suggest someone does this? It looks like it takes a lot of skill. Uh, well, it depends. If you play, like, if you practice when you're around six, if you practice with, like, sticks, like I used to, like hitting, like, like that, then about maybe eight, nine. And if you don't, I will suggest about nine or ten. Like you? Well, I practice with with the sticks, so I'm kind of good with it. So I could have probably did it around eight. What you gonna do if you get a snipe? Keep it for a pet. Make sure, and I'm gonna be very clear to Joshua, my friend across the street. No touching. No trying to have it. No moving. What do you feed it? it? Uh, popcorn. How I do know. you know? How do you know there's one around here? Because there's raccoons around here, and they, and they, and they come. If there's a raccoon, you can find a snipe because, in most of the play, most of the houses or the people's houses, they have tin foil in there, and the snipes like to, like and to, like to see themselves. Tin foil in where? Like the garbage cans. Oh. And the raccoons dump it over for the snipes. Don't look around because they'd like to see themselves. Oh, okay. Well, I think we got a good explanation of everything. What do they eat? Popcorn. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm hearing some noises too.